What's up, degenerates? And if you still are following this channel after 11 or 12 weeks of straight tipping, you definitely still are degenerates. Right. I hope you're well. It is Sunday. Let's just wrap up the week. First of all, before I go into that, apologies for my selection today. Glacier Fox, absolute disgrace. And I hold my hands up. I'm sorry. If anyone backed it, if you see me, you can fire a stone at me or something. Right. Uh, let's just touch on what a great week it was here at the channel. Lots of winners. Really good. Mickey D and Joe Value crushing it on the, the preview of the Eclipse. So really happy to... Yeah, with everything on that. So really hope you uh, got enjoyment out of it. As I said, we do these previews to hopefully bring you just extra entertainment and uh, try and steer you in the directions of certain horses or maybe answer questions of horses you might have. Things like that. That's what we kind of use them for. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I, I certainly do enjoy them. And uh, yeah, we like to get guests on uh, too as well. And I think moving forward as well, I, I will uh, have a guest on most most occasions. Sometimes it just doesn't suit and. and uh, it, if it's not feasible but I like to have someone kind of relevant to what we're talking about right but for now let's touch on or let, before I go into tomorrow let me just touch on my Patreon the first week uh, to be honest and you all know I'm very honest at the channel I say this is not a great week on the Patreon and uh, but Things could have went our way. We still had a three points each way, uh, fifteen to two winner and a nine extra lab last Saturday as well. Tipped up. I suppose unlucky with me or Mento not getting a clear run. Just really unlucky late in the day. Nothing you can do there. Just victim to circumstance. If she wins a sixteens, we have a massive profit, and then another sixteen to one shot finishing second. Uh, we had each way, but then there was a rule four in that one. So a couple of horses placed, and then a couple of my other selections disappointing and you all know I'm honest because I'm confident of crushing them over the next few weeks. It will be a quiet week on Patreon uh, just because there's nothing really running. Uh, there is one Tuesday that I have interested in but the ground will have to be good uh, for me to put him up. So check that out. I have given a selection for Friday on the Patreon and I really think I'm going to bounce back here in style. So uh, I'm really looking forward to her running. She is up. The tip is up. And uh, yeah, really, really interesting. Nice price as well. So look, check it out if you want, if not. But yeah, like I said, could have been a better start this week. Disappointing overall. Uh, unfortunate, uh, I think I get one big selection, a 10 to 1 shot. And very, very unfortunate, the jockey just never put it in the race. We think, Look, we had it each way, a massive each way bet. And uh, finishes fourth, just comes out of stall, sits, never puts it in the race. Comes widest of all. Uh, and a bit disappointing but I know if a couple of things went our way this week it, it, it would have been so much different if me and Mento gets a clear run we're in massive profit and if that horse was off because to be honest I think it was only out having a spin and, and uh, unfortunately that's when when we select horses we can't tell the jockey or trainer what to do we just pick horses and uh, yeah hope we pick enough right ones at big odds to crush in the long run anyway we're not going to dwell on that Matt Murrigan out to crush again next week as always as we have crushed for 12 weeks but it is uh, we have hit an odd quiet week we had one bad week on the channel as well where we went three days without a winner or something and everyone gave out so bear with us We'll pull it back for you. Right. The 425 tomorrow in air. Salute. Should have won the last day. Got no luck in running late in the day. Ben Robinson out for uh, a vengeance or or to put the, 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 the wrong right. I think he just got unlucky late. He just was playing him late in Newcastle and sometimes then it's hard to get a run. But I do think if he had a got fair play in running, I think he might have won again. So... I'm prepared to give him a chance tomorrow. A point each way at four to one. Unfortunately, the ground might change, and that is a worry. But look, I'll go with him anyway. Right, the four fifteen. Then at Nottingham, this is a mare, Sollier Bay. I can't believe I'm gonna tip her up again. I'm such a junkie. But anyway, she's. I said I'd give her one more chance if they did one thing, and that was if they stepped her up in trip. I'd give her one more go. So they're stepping her up in trip, up to a mile and a quarter. Ella McCain in the saddle, getting off the fight. Am I crazy? Yes, but sure. She's 13 to 2. That's why I'm going to give her a chance. A pint each way. There is some three-year-olds on exposed at the head of the market. But this is a quirky little filly. 
and the step up and trip might suit her. She wears an eye shield because I don't know. She might be blind for all I know. She's have an eye shield on her. But anyway, I don't know. But anyway, Sullier Bay, we like her. She's been good to us. She's been placed a few times. We backed her at big odds and things like that. And I'm giving her one more chance just because she's stepping up to a mile and a quarter. She is by Ifrash. So if there's any ease in the ground, they tend to handle it overall. So I don't really mind that. Then I'm going to move on to the 550 and I'm giving a horse a chance here in a crazy race. There's a lot of runners, so shop around, get all the prices. Leading night, the 550 at Worcester. This is ridden by a really, really good young jockey, Kevin Brogan. A young lad, I know him well. I spent some time with him in Garden Elliott's and a real, real jockey on the up. And uh, no doubt it's going to be a force in England and wherever he chooses to ride over the next few years. So leading night is interesting enough. It's by a sire leading light that I... I don't know. I don't really, to be honest, I don't really like the sire. Uh, lots of them show lots of old quirks and things. I don't want to run down anyone's stallion, but hey, they're losing me money, man. Right. Leading night. Kevin Brogan. This is starting favourite the last day, so I'm definitely going to chance it at 9 to 1. I'm not the guy that goes in on his favourite. Like, if a horse's favourite at 13 to 8, you definitely, it's a good idea to back it the next day at 9 to 1, even if it wins or not, because in the long run, you'll, you'll be doing the right thing. So I think at nine to one, we give it an each way a chance just on the grounds that they've obviously thought it's been a little bit better than what it's shown, that it seems to start favourite. So Kevin Brogan in the saddle, real talented jockey. And then the bet of the day, or not the bet of the day, the favourite of the day, Hollywood Lady. Uh, point win, she's short enough. I get the best price I put in the description. But I think she bumped into one. Rob Hornby rides this. What a jockey this fella is. Watch this fella riding. Very good. So, Hollywood Lady, she bumped into a horse of Michael Bell's the last day, Olympic Theatre, who, who went out and scorched in again. So, so this this one just, I, I think she's by Sea the Stars, a mile and a quarter, 10 furlongs, bit of ease in the ground. Sea the Stars, perfect. Like, sounds great. Hollywood Lady. So, hopefully, she can win tomorrow with a good jockey on board. Right. The time for cotton is over, lads. Mad Murrigan, peace. Keep following Cold Bear Sports, and uh, we'll keep trying to bring you winners. Thanks.